I think some of the, the most valuable lessons I've learned at the CCH conferences that I've attended have been the faith journeys of the people who've been involved in global health work and learning about learning about the challenges that they've all faced and the ways that they've mobilized the resources within their own communities and within their families and their support networks to be able to overcome some of those challenges and continue working and continue being inspired to work in conditions that can be really, really difficult and challenging. It's also an opportunity actually to recharge, I mean to come here, uh, meet other believers, uh, re worship together, share ideas. It's great to have other projects from different organizations um, in the network validate and support some of the best practices that we are doing. In the 10 years you know, that I've just spent doing training in medicine, doing global health work in all different spots, different parts of the world, a lot of it was kick-started by the relationships that I had early on in, CS in CCIH, and yeah, I wouldn't trade that for anything. So. Churches exist in, have existed in communities before some of the governments that are in power, before some of the NGOs can have come along, and we see that the church will be there long after these institutions are gone. Hi, my name is Patience Ayikwa. I'm originally from Nigeria, and I'm a student at Liberty University School of Public and Community Health. At CCIH conference in 2016, I connected with the Samaritans first, and I'm now doing my internship as a program development intern in the Philippines. I am very blessed to have this opportunity to do the work I love, and I know I'm making a difference. I am grateful to CCIH for making me, for helping me make this connection.